Attention humans, as you all know, for most of my videos, I have been rattling my brain landing reusable rockets. For this video I will focus on the community instead, and see what kind of pumped up stuff you guys are doing. So anyway, this is the top 10 space related clips, in my opinion of course. Enjoy. The first clip we are taking a look at is from Carlos. In his clip he attempts to land SN10. At first I thought he was trying to replicate SN9 and SN8, but he surprised me with a smooth landing. Honestly, I congratulate you on this one Carlos. Not gonna lie this is pretty pog. However, your landing doesn't have a beat drop on it. Don't worry, I'll put one in for you. <laughs> yeah boy. Okay, now that's better. If you are watching this video Carlos, your clip was awesome. I had no problem adding a beat drop on it. Anyway, the next clip is from Elon Musk. Wait, I thought we were showing KSP clips only. We aren't? Don't blame me, you are the one writing the script. What do you mean I asked for it? I guess we are doing real life too. Seriously? Am I like Scott Manley or something now? Do I just review real life launches? Okay then. Our next clip is from Elon Musk and it's one of his drone ship landing failures. To be honest, this one is kinda funny. Look at that booster, it's power sliding, like it's Tokyo Drift. Well, now I'm gonna get a copyright strike, but it was worth it to show this meme. Oh, and I almost forgot. Safety Doggo has an offer for you. If you subscribe right now, he will come to your room and keep you safe tonight. Anyway, back to this cringy yet hilarious montage. Our next clip is from Cornel Rakalaya. Is that how you pronounce it? If you are watching this video Cornel, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Anyway his clip is honestly pretty dope. You guys think I'm a good KSP player? This right here is a good KSP player. In his clip he lands the Mar Perseverance rover. He does it so accurately, and he even has an actual sky crane. Look at footage from the actual Mars Perseverance rover, and look at this. You can't tell the difference. Well done. You have even more respect from me, because you did this in KSP realism overhaul, and without landing guidance therefore, I shall declare this clip. Pog. We all know the Saturn V rocket. We all know the famous Apollo landings. Hopefully you all have seen my heavy lift version of the Saturn V. That rocket is iconic, and this YouTuber named Pilot1459 decided it was a good idea to build a Saturn V and low curb in orbit. To be honest I'm not gonna disagree, what makes this clip interesting is he reuses the first stage of his rockets, which gets you some mad respect. He even reuses the second stage which is something I have never done before. After he builds the Saturn V in orbit, he takes it all one step further and uses Starship to refuel it. This guy just doesn't stop impressing me, well done. If I'm going to be honest, reusing rockets should be something every KSP player should try at least once. And that is why I'm proud of Aquatro for making his first reusable rocket. I'm not sure what the payload is, but your landing was quite clean for your first time. What even surprised me more is that your rocket is an SSTO that right there earns you some mad respect. We are all proud of you Aquatro. Keep working to make all rockets reusable. We have all experienced the situation in KSP where these green bars turn to the mean red one telling you that you can't talk to your probe and it makes you wanna smash your screen. Well you can solve that by creating a communication satellite in curb in stationary orbit and that's exactly what 108 Pi did. Even better, he reused all the stages which is mega pop. His launch starts off pretty smooth. As he descends higher and higher into the atmosphere I can sense that he is nervous because he greatly overextended his gravity turn which causes his craft to heat up. However this game is so unrealistic he gets away with it anyway and is able to separate his stages with a hypersonic wind. In case you guys didn't know, this is what hypersonic winds did to one of the first Delta 3 rockets. You good symmetric burn. Coming up on burnout. Burnout on all six solids. 
We have lost the signal from the data from the Delta 3. He then proceeds to point his engine retrograde and does a flawless landing burn. Once again showing how unrealistic ASP is there is no way a single engine could support the weight of that rocket. Anyway, enough ranting. After landing the first stage, he proceeds to deploy his satellite at the correct orbit, and he begins to deorbit the second stage. He does use parachutes to land the second stage, but I will allow it, since he put in the effort. Well done 108 Pi. Rockets are the main focus of KSP, which makes sense, since it has the word space program in it. However, cars are extremely underrated in this game, and when I mean underrated, I mean non-existent. In Christian doesn't know life's clip he creates a rocket car. You know what, I'll just refer to you as Christian for now. Anyway, in Christian's clip, he attempts to launch a plane, by using his rocket car as a booster. A very interesting idea indeed. Eventually after many tries Christian gets his rocket car to work. He then proceeds to screw around and almost crashes into the vab, but luckily he is a experienced pilot, so he got himself out of the mess. That was a pretty good test run. So Christian decides to launch again, but then he takes an unexpected turn, and goes full kamikaze crashing into the vehicle assembly building. Well done. Our next clip comes from SW Dennis. I have no idea what the hell he is launching, but it seems to be a giant cylinder. He has a flawless orbit despite the payload being 7 times the size of the rocket. Then he takes it to Mars which was honestly something I didn't expect. The payload fairing opens, and I'm not sure what it is. It looks like the Iron Giant, but I want to believe it is a Transformer. I have no idea, but regardless he lands his mech, like it is something from a Marvel film. You know what I'll just let you guys watch this thing bounce around. Our last clip comes from Matt Lone himself. Not too long ago he posted a video, and I decided to include it in this list. In his video, Matt Lone creates a centrifuge which will give him a boost to orbit. The centrifuge gives him 36 meters per second of delta V which is some jaw dropping savings, if I ever saw some. You may be asking yourself, why is he spinning that thing around, and I honestly have the same question. The answer is most likely, because it's good content and I can't disagree with that. Anyway, he uses the damn vector engine which is so broken in this game. Let's just trash all the other engines, because the vector engine is just too good. Anyway he uses this centrifuge, to get himself to his space station and that's when I realized he had Kerbals on board. I was like damn, they actually survived that ride. Anyway that's the top 10 best clips of KSP in my opinion. I hope you all enjoyed it. Of course, don't forget to brush your teeth, wash your hands, and subscribe. Morks out.